Hi guys, um, Miss Nikki and Miss Morgan here. We're at the Public Library of Mount Vernon in Knox County. We are doing mini busters today and we are working on stink bombs. Although we do have a little special thing to do, so maybe it won't smell as bad. A little treat. <laughs> so you've seen your ingredients there. So we're gonna take really smelly garlic Ooh. and we're gonna put it in our bubble solution. I can hold this up so you can kind of see it a little better. So I really wish you could smell this right now because it just, woo, it smells pretty good. <laughs> Pungent. So I don't know if you'll be able to smell this through your mask, Morgan. I can definitely smell it. <laughs> yeah, smell. yeah. So we'll see yes. if, it's a, if it's a smelly bubble though, okay? Oh, gross. To me, right? <laughs> I think we have some pretty good steak bombs yeah. here. We'll try one the little ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty good steak bomb. That there. Works. <laughs> All right. You want to try the yeah. we have some smelly good vanilla here. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll try this and see if it'll okay, we'll close this guy up. Yeah, that'll help. Woo! Okay, no we won't. Just goes. kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There we go. That All should right. be good. I think that looks. I'll stir it up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> take the pink star. Oh, all I can smell is garlic. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We're hoping this vanilla might help. You know, yeah, make something smell a little bit better. But right. yeah. Okay. No, oh <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, I can. They do smell yeah. good. Yay. Oh, so, that smells awesome. Good job. If you want, we're going to try to do some homemade bubbles now, too. The little direction thing said to do a cup of water and two tablespoons of dish soap, I think. So we'll see if we can make our own. And these, of course, are going to have to be, you know, stink bomb ones because definitely, clearly, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, we can use the same spoon. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> See if we can make some stinky bubbles homemade style. Yeah. All right? I mean, I can smell it already. Like it, <laughs> it is not smelling good. <laughs> All right. Now we got the, got the big boy here. Let's oh, see if we can make some big bubbles. Yeah. Big stinky bubbles. Oh, oh wait, here, let me just do this. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. I'll try one more. One more uh -oh. time. Oh, now it's Oh, it went into the vanilla. Oh, now the vanilla's oh, gonna no. stink. Gross. Right, okay. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, they make good bubbles. They probably oh. smell terrible, though. Oh, now my hands smell so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. All right, guys, this was a lot of fun, and obviously, very, very simple to do. Um, you've got your ingredients here. And yeah, I think that about does it. Yeah. I'll do a little, maybe a little story or something, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks. See you guys, bye. All right guys, so our video is a little quick on doing the stink bomb. So I thought I'd do a little story, short story. It's uh, in a dark, dark room and other scary stories. Retold by Alvin Schwartz. So in a dark, dark room in a dark, dark wood. There was a dark, dark house. And in that dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark room. And in that dark, dark room, there was a dark, dark chest. And in that dark, dark chest, there was a dark, dark shelf. And on that dark, dark shelf, there was a dark, dark box. And in that dark, dark box, there was a ghost! <laughs> Ooh, I think that was it. Yep, and that was all. A very quick little spooky story. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.